Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday was on Sunday, and Ruto decided to organize for a Sunday international interdenomination Thanksgiving and prayer service. And this was taking place at Machakusi, that is in Teso South, to be precise, Kisi eh, Busia County. And one question that one would ask himself. What informed William Ruto's decision to organize for an interdenomination thanksgiving or prayer event in Busia County? What informed that move? A simple thought. Because <laughs> from nowhere, we just saw leaders heading to Busia and they had to make sure that Mdavadi is accompanying him. Wetangula was among the people. Then the leadership from Western in terms of elected members of parliament and those appointed to specific office or of ministry. So it was largely a lawyer uh, political, they say prayer, but we know it's a political event. Though Gashagwa did not attend, of course, so that tells you that this was a matter. Remember, this is coming at a time when Raila Odinga had a successful uh, event in Busia and for him it was very clear this was not a, a prayer event or what it was uh, popularizing for the ODM party and registration drive that was grassroot so it was clear then Ruto Pop with his event in that place it is something that is bringing in more questions <laughs> and we want to look deep into that the reason why Ruto had pushed to go to Busia County, then above all, did he achieve his intention in Busia? But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Samasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, the obvious fact is that as long as Raila was somewhere, then he leave and Ruto get there. It is a move to counter Raila Odinga's event or function. So definitely, in as much Ruto want to be seen as if he's organizing for a, a church event, it is clear this is just a strategy to try and attempt countering Raila Odinga's influence in Busia. So why am I talking to Jews? And this confirms what we are talking about here uh, last week that there is serious panic in the state house in terms of how Raleigh is now organizing his event how the ODM is now popularizing itself the super massive support and the um, move to ODM party is concerned people are dumping UDA there is massive walk into the ODM party it's giving state house sleepless nights. So that is true. By this move alone tells you that Ruto was not comfortable nor happy by the fact that ODM was gaining UDA and Kenya Kwanza was losing at large. So the only thing he can do is to react by attempting to go to the same place and counter Raila Odinga's influence. <laughs> So that's the whole issue that took William Ruto to Western Region. Imagine you carry the entire cabinet, it's Jim Dabadi Hapo, Wetangula, Nispika, Lakini, Ako Hapo, and it's all about politics in the name of a church event. So it's clear, Hawatu, Hawana, Aman. But then the question is, did they succeed? That is the big question. <laughs> But before we end, if really Ruto succeed, I want to read some of the comments from Kenyans. We have a few, few, few comments here. People are speaking in their mind. Hudson Alingo. You know how to articulate false hope and promises. At some point, Kenyans thought they had found their own black Jesus. <laughs> then Ocheng. Overtaxing is the plan, Mr. Mdavati. Chibuai, I want to jump that one. Eh? Let us read this one. Jose Kialo, there is no danger 
dangerous man like one hiding in the church. Then Peter or Pio, may God intervene for Ruto to stop lying. You see, the conclusion of Kenyans when they see Ruto somewhere, that the liar is here, he has come to lie. Now he's a perennial liar. <laughs> now, look here. The, the, you know, what we have learned from William Ruto on how he's organizing his event, especially in areas where he does not have that much control, because now this is Busia. Busia is largely ODM. Busia is ODM. Hakuna mbunge wa UDA kule Busia. What an ODM. The only thing he can do is to now through organizing this prayer event, you are using pastors and bishops to bring the congregants. But how do they bring the congregants? People are organized in the church very earlier. When a pangwa, if it is ferrying people in the buses, they organize how to get the people to that event through the buses. That means you have facilitated, facilitated the transportation of the people. Lakini ukiangalia Raila, people just come. No one has facilitated maybe transportation of G using buses and this and that. It never happened in that way. So for Ruto, he has to facilitate transportation of the people. Kufikia hapo, unatumia pesa. In those events, people are now even paid to attend. Tuenda kwa mkutano, tapata kitu wa kidogo, tukitoka na tukinudu nyumbani. In that way, this one is a crowd that you have bought. So you look at the event, you see people there, but the fact is that these people have been paid and ferried to attend that event. So is that how you can measure success? Maybe perception, but not success. Success can be measured when people come willingly on their own without being paid using their own resources. And that tells you that Raila Odinga and ODM succeeded in the event in Busia County. But for this one, it is something that you are buying using money. Therefore, it's easier to counter by creating a perception, which is false perception, that even when Ruto goes to Western, he has numbers. Raila was here, he had a crowd. Ruto is here, he has a crowd. So Ruto and Raila have numbers. That is a perception that they wanted to create. <laughs> Ati ya kwamba ulikuwa ulienda kule kwa kuwa na watu wengi tukawaona. Pimimi niko huku nimepata watu wengi mnaweza waona. So we all have a say in Western region politics. It's something that Ruto is really trying hard. But it's worse when an opposition leader gets to a place and they have a huge crowd. But you, for you to succeed, you have to buy people in that place. And you are in power. It is also the power Ziko with you. I think it should be the president. But because he's a man who has failed in terms of delivering to the people. So everyone is avoiding him. So people avoided Ruto in Busia County. Those who attended were people organized, paid, and ferried to attend. There are also other issues we can ask here. <laughs> and of course we have to. When Ruto was organizing for interdenominational prayer events before he became the president, that time he was using his own resource. They pulled money together here and there using their own ways. And therefore, in terms of using his office money, it was little because even the budget was lean and limited. Haikuwa kuba vile. Now he's the president. The question is, is Ruto still using his own money to organize for such event? You know, putting up this tent, you're using a lot of money. Millions of shillings. Failing people. Paying them to attend. Buying the crowd. Transportation to that place. This is taxpayers' money that is being spent in this way. So imagine... Everything in this country is expensive, but you, dear party, can afford, or Kenya Panther Coalition can afford to use your taxes to organize for their political events. We are lost. 
President anaribu tu siku nzima transport from Nairobi and fly to Western just to come and counter Raila Odinga's event using taxpayers money but not his own money then you think that this government is going to work for you they if only focus to maintain their political um a uh, mileage in this country and control but nothing else so the question of abuse of office and resource comes in wanatumia ushuru wetu kwa njia mbaya kufanya mambo yao ya kisiasa na ila atumie ushuru wa wananchi cha pesa za chama ruta me is holding to the money is not giving out that means odm has to look for other ways of surviving when they organize the event but political party funding is not yet out sasa ruta anatumia pesa gani <laughs> udia ile kusanya pesa ama ni pesa za serikali it's very easy for kenyans to conclude that this is taxpayers money because now you are the president and you are in control now this move alone tells you that Raila Odinga can really manage to keep these people so much busy doing nothing across the country and they will end up delivering zero services to the people if indeed this is how they are going to operate so this Raila amegundua okay kama sitaki watu wafanye kazi let me just move around and be busy mobilize then what they will only do is to organize for counter and counter meetings so they will never sit in office and work organized deliver to the people but they will be busy on top of their vehicles responding to Raila Odinga organizing for event like that so it's also easy to keep them busy doing nothing then at the end of the year or term it will be also a question to ask them what did you deliver for the last five years to the people the only thing you delivered was lies and a busy campaign for the entire time that's now what is coming out from all this so these people are losing they are panicked and odm is gaining ground that's why they are reacting by organizing such event in the name of interdenomination prayer function i don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video